Hello everybody, it's uh, Hugo Forster again. I want to tell you about a very strange pipelining job I did in a very strange city. I'm in uh, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, and it's a cold and foggy night, and uh, we did a very, very unusual pipelining job. Uh, in the background, uh, where these purple lights are, there are two giant steel doors that close when the river on the other side floods the city. Every uh, year or two the river will rise 30 or 40 feet and flood the city. Uh, the, the trouble they were having was they just built a beautiful piazza, a uh, beautiful paved granite and uh, paver type walkway and uh, living space, place for cycling and uh, rollerblading etc. And <clears throat> part of this piazza has water fountains coming out of the floor. The trouble is one of the water fountain pipes are leaking every time they turn it on and it's undermining the piazza. The piazza has granite as I mentioned and pavers and uh, it would be a terrible mess to tear this up. On the far side, on the other side of those steel doors, with the steel doors closed to prevent the floods, so on the other side of that levee is where the pump house is. So the PVC pipe runs underneath the levee, underneath the steel doors, past the hydraulics, underneath the granite, underneath the pavers, all the way to the piazza over here behind me where the jets come out. So to dig up this pipe would be a terrible mess. Well, it was a 117 foot shot, 117 foot pipe, 2 inch PVC that's leaking but they don't know where and even if they did they wouldn't want to dig it up. Can you imagine the mess, uh, the engineering involved in going underneath this huge structure uh, that's designed to hold back rivers? Nevertheless, uh, I arrived yesterday with a suitcase, a suitcase with everything in it that I needed. I had the pipelining material, the inversion head, the pressure hoses. The only thing I picked up at Home Depot was a compressor. Uh, today, we relined the pipe, 117 foot shot. We, uh, come, we pressurized the line for f uh, four hours. The liner was hard. Then we did, we did a pressure test. We checked to see whether the line would hold pressure, in other words, if it leaks. And uh, it, to our great pleasure, it, it was not leaking. So uh, I'm here after a long night's work. Uh, it's kind of late and cold and rainy. Uh, but I'm going to go back to my hotel. This place is a little creepy. I probably shouldn't be here alone. Uh, but I thought you might be interested in this very strange job within a very strange place. Thank you very much, guys. Good night.